here today to lay flowers at the memorials of construction workers. We come here every year, construction workers. The next time we'll be here will be uh, Workers Memorial Day, it's on the 28th of April, and we come here to remember our dead. But what we also got to do is fight for the living. There's going to be hundreds of building workers killed within the next three weeks in this country because of the coronavirus pandemic. And not only construction workers are going to die, doctors are going to die, nurses are going to die, care workers are going to die, transport workers are going to die. Building workers don't want to go to work at the moment. We don't want to endanger our families, but we're being forced to go to work. No one who's ever worked on a building site thinks it's remotely possible to be able to carry on any kind of meaningful construction and still keep the two metre social distancing rules. The building process by its very nature is collaborative. We work together in small teams, in close proximity on scaffolds, in tunnels, in confined spaces. Shame on all the construction firms, forcing workers to work through these difficult times, putting lives at risk. And I want the government to shut all construction sites as soon as possible. We should be treated the same as everybody else. If it's not safe to gather in a crowd on the street, it's not safe to be in a construction site. Everybody should be furloughed, including the agency workers. These are not essential works what we're building. We're building luxury flats. You've got power stations that are not being built for another five years' time, and workers are being forced to work in them. I believe with this coronavirus that all sites should be shut, all major construction sites around the country and that all employees, self-employed and agency workers should be, should be paid as well. Nobody should be left in poverty. Hundreds of thousands of workers are falling through the gaps, struggling to sign up for a pitiful £94 a week from Universal Credit. It shouldn't matter whether you're self-employed, employed or unemployed. Every worker has bills to pay and every worker needs to be supported. We need to follow the example of Spain and introduce universal basic income now. On our site, all non-essential personnel have been furloughed. Um, we've just got a skeleton crew on there now. They can do it. Anyone can. Building sites across the country are already being closed down when enough of the workers have met the boss collectively to raise concerns. Join a trade union because you've got more chance of being successful and less chance of being victimised if you do it as a group rather than you do it one at a time. Stay safe and let's shut the sides. Whether you're agency, whether you're self-employed or whether you're PAYE, we all want, to, we all want food on the table and we, we, we want to be secure. Hundreds of workers are going to die and we have got to make sure that the government closes these sites.